Hi friends in this video we are going to discuss about a very important question and it is very interesting to what could be the natural state of an object if we left it to itself but galileo started that an object in motion will remain in same motion as long as no external force is applied on it and he came up to, with experiments he did the same experiment on inclined planes with very smooth surfaces and observed that smoother the surface the farther the ball traveled he extended this argument and concluded that if the surface was perfectly smooth the ball will travel indefinitely without stopping now let us take two inclined planes this inclined plane had two different angles of inclinations rather galileo took up the same angles initially and he tried to drop a ball from one inclined plane from certain height and with certain angle of inclination this ball rolled down and rolled over to the second plane up to a height similar to the height of the first inclined plane from where it was dropped but if we change the angle of inclination of the second plane keeping the first plane fixed if we drop the ball from the first plane the ball rolls up to the second plane through a longer distance although it would reach the same height but that day galileo took uh, the two planes smoother they are but here we we could not take such a smoother plane because it is a rough plane there will be a, a frictional force acting on the ball so it could not reach up to the same height as dropped from the same from the height of a first inclined plane hence uh, it would uh, reach to a certain height which is lower than the height of the first inclined plane and keeps on trying to reach to the same height as long as the the frictional force remains constant and if the frictional force increases the height keeps on reducing that's what we are going to observe in the second cases let us again change the angle of inclination of the second plane keeping the height where the ball tried to reach in the second plane keeping its constant although the ball tries to reach is the same height in that process the ball travels a longer distance on the second plane as we keep on reducing the angle of inclination of the second plane the ball keeps on moving longer and longer distances on the second inclination if further if the angle of inclination is zero according to galileo's observation it was uh, rolled down on the first inclined plane due to the force of gravity and it continues to reach the same height in the same process the ball runs farther and farther until it could reach the same height from where the ball is dropped that means the distance traveled by it is greater now galileo made his observation by further reducing the angle of the slope and found that the natural state of the body is motion it continues to be in a state of motion then a question arose in his mind how far must it have to be moved to reach the same height if it has no slope to go up this was the final stage where galileo thought and because there is no slope obviously it should keep on moving forever and ever along the same level surface with a constant velocity with which it was brought down at the bottom of the inclination and she concluded that the natural state of a moving object if it is set free for from all external influences it's a uniform motion hence we to conclude that the natural state of an object when left to itself is uniform as observed by galileo's experiments rather than the other philosophers like aristotle who thought the natural state was to be rest thank you